Everybody, it's Mark Rushton, markrushton.com. It is Friday, January 7th, 2021. And uh, Screencastify just puts everything on the screen. Could we just, when I start the recording, could we just stop with all the things that I need to click through? That'd be very nice. You software developers, you just make things more difficult because I don't know why. <laughs> I don't get it. Anyway, this video is called Why Most Artists Don't Listen why most artists don't listen. And I don't know, it's, it's, it's sort of a rant. It's sort of a rant. First of all, okay, the sun was out. It was super cold last night. Eight below Fahrenheit. That was this morning. And it'll be in the 30s on Saturday. But so we're climbing out of it. But I just, look, I found this in the back of the closet. This thing. Look at this. This is, this is a medium. And it's, actually a little loose on me. Of course, my arms, I'm six foot, six foot one, something like that. I am probably at the age where I'm starting to shrink um, height wise. And uh, so it's, a, you know, only goes so far down the, but that's okay. You know, half the time you're, you're kind of like, uh, kind of like that or whatever. It's a, it's a medium. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Russians lost. I lost some weight. Look at, I fit beautifully into me and there's a lot of room in here that's a medium yes i have been losing weight for some time how did you do it you're not going to listen you don't want to know you don't want to know i'm eating healthy i mean well, what do you mean by that what do you mean eating healthy it's not my version of eating health it's working for me i feel good despite all the insanity going on around me and i don't and i don't mean around me close i mean various things that have been going on the last year it's just like wow guys what you know and it and some of that is people not willing to listen to one another not willing to have that discussion that talk to realize I, for, for some reason they don't realize what is good advice what you know trying to be a friend trying to be whatever you know so I don't know. I don't know. Uh, yeah, nobody listens to me. It's probably for the best. It's probably for the best because, you know, if, if people were listening to me, they would be I, eh, giving me awards or something like that. You see enough of that in the artistic world. Oh, well, I got the award for, for this or that or whatever. And it's like awards, best music award. What? H huh? There's only, is there only so much music in the world and we're able to determine what the best is this year? I swear to God, I, I'm, I'm expecting to see this within the next, this is the best album of the year. I'm expecting to see that. This is the best album of the, it's the first week. How do you, how do you know? How do you know this is the best album of the year? Wait, how long have you been listening to it? Who paid you? Who paid you to write that? I see you have a creative writing degree, so you are good at creative writing. You're also good at doing what the man says because you get that, you get, that's how you get paid, right? So that's sort of my take on, whoa, what do you mean? What do you mean? They're a trusted authority. <laughs> my God, it's like punk rock never happened, right? It's just, it's like punk rock never happened. You know, Bobby Ewing, suddenly in the shower. Ah, it's like punk rock never happened. Anyway, so what have I been doing lately? What have I been doing lately? Which other people are not doing lately. Uh, again, I continue to make daily playlists of my catalog of my music and sounds. Uh, I start in Spotify. I, I work off of existing playlists. Sometimes I add things to them. Sometimes I shuffle them around. Sometimes I make them. Uh, many hours long. Sometimes I make them a, a two hours long. Sometimes they're under a certain number of tracks, track lengths. I change the titles. I change the graphics. I change the descriptions. I do translation of certain keywords in there because not everybody in the world speak English. Speak English? No. I'm going to help you with that. I'm going to provide a little bit of uh, major foreign languages in my playlist. Somebody searching around may happen up you never know how do you know how do you know if that you just could be wasting your time like i i don't know that but that might work that 
yeah, who knows? Well, so and so, they're a big super guru and and they have a paid this and that and, and they don't say that. Maybe they haven't tried it. I don't know. So yeah, what I do today, five playlists, 261 tracks, and transferred to 11 services. It's the numbers game. It's the numbers game. I took a course a few years ago um, for the, the fine art side of things called the Art Business Academy. And if you're a painter, sculptor, printmaker, whoever, and you want to get into galleries, which I did for a while, uh, it, fantastic course, the Art Business Academy dot net, I think is what it is. And uh, one of them, and I took, I was a, oh, was it a weekly course or it was a monthly course? I can't remember how long the, the courses were. You had uh, assignments every so often. And it's, a, it's paid. I, it was like, what, $80 a month? And I took it for about a year and a half. It really it taught me a lot of stuff in the uh, fine art world. And a lot of that stuff transferred over to the recording artist side of things. And one thing that was taught in the course, and I'm not going to regurgitate the course or anything like that, was the numbers game. And uh, the guy teaching the course, you know, it's, it's such a simple concept and a lot of people don't think about it that way. And I, I have sort of had the same philosophy in the last few years here, particularly with regard to distribution and streaming services. I say repeatedly, and I've said this for years, you, you, you need to be everywhere. Your music needs to be anywhere. Don't. Don't, don't get on the island of band camp, right? Don't not, don't not put your music on Spotify because you read something somewhere that somebody was paid to write to express disinformation or whatever, right? Or this, this place pays a higher per, per stream than somewhere else. And it's, it's, you know, endless fighting minutia. So my, my ad attitude to every recording artist is you, your music should be everywhere. And it pains me every time I'm like going through my old playlists and stuff like that. And there'll be like a, an artist or a musician and uh, it's, it's grayed out. It's not available on the streaming services. I'm like, what is this crap? Why are these, it, there's two things. Like it was like the Roxy music live album. And then there were some Cocteau twins compilation. I was like, what happened with this? What's going on? Is this going over to Netflix and then it'll be on Hulu and then it'll be on Paramount Plus and then it'll be on <laughs> Crack Crackle? Is that what's going on here? You don't want that. You do not want exclusives. And you don't want to be on one site compared to another. I don't want to put my music on KK Box because they don't pay. It's China. They don't pay that much for access there. I don't want to put my music on Yandex because they don't pay that. It's standard of living man do you not understand economics a lot of people don't understand economics and so yeah no one's going to listen to me on that regard and i try to be everywhere and the other thing i try to do is i try to i i accept every single licensing opportunity out there um like with music reports you know they, there was a uh, what have i had here in the last year or two as far as licensing options peloton i've made a little i think i've made a little bit of money from peloton apple fitness plus that um that's uh i can't talk about that just yet but uh had a nice second month on on that or third month or whatever it was wow wow i don't know what's going on but i i do know what's going on i do know the tracks and everything like that that's pretty amazing tiktok i remember when TikTok licensing opportunity. I said, oh, ha ha. That's just all, you know, uh, what have I seen? The, the guy on the skateboard drinking the cranberry juice and, you know, teenage girls dancing in their bedroom, something like that. No, 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 no. <laughs> and suddenly I went from pennies to uh, a certain number of dollars per month on each and it was just like, okay, all right. But this is how people are using and accessing music these days. So don't, don't be a stick in the mud about that sort of stuff. 
you never know what to, and and again titling titling and then is it is it descriptive of the music and then eh, no one's gonna listen to me no one's gonna listen to my advice yeah five play i made five playlists they didn't take that long to make 261 tracks 11 services new graphics didn't take that long i did it on my break on your break on, on my break did not take long i worked on a little bit last night too it really just did not take that long and uh do more of that this weekend also you know what i gotta do this weekend i gotta get i gotta get on disco i get i've been saying this the last few nights see i keep saying it it's in my little uh microsoft OneNote thing here it says uh yeah get around to disco build some little, little short playlists in disco.ac get used to that interface because eventually eventually what i'll be doing i will be um querying micro licensing agencies I want to have some things out there i want to have a uh suite of playlists in different genres and different styles and what i want to be able to demonstrate is the i know my catalog i know my catalog i know this i don't know how you want it as a creative or somebody working on behalf of creatives but uh I, I, I'm aware of my catalog. I know what it is. I'm organized. I got my stuff together. So anyway, long rant, but yeah, yeah. Why most artists don't listen. They don't, they don't want to listen. They don't, they want the easy way out. You know what? Okay. Let's take a uh, real quick here, real quick here. I should make another video about this, but yes, the only rule is work. The only rule is work. If you work, it will lead to something. It's the people who do all the work all the time and eventually catch on to things. <laughs> consider everything an experiment i've been riding that one for years on the music many 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 years and uh and then the ultimate for me i, I need to give eno some royalties for this one hold on here this question from uh an interview in 2011 in the Believer magazine with, with Brian Eno. If you could email your 20 year old self about what was ahead, what would you tell him? Or would you tell him nothing and just let him get on with it? And Eno said, I think I'd say, put out as much as you can. It doesn't do anything sitting on a shelf. My feeling is that a work has little value until you release it, until you liberate, liberate it from yourself and your excuses for it. It's not quite finished yet. Mix will make all the difference. <laughs> until you see it out there in the world along with everything else, you don't really know what it is or what to think of it. So it's of no use to you. Oh my God. That is absolutely true. Particularly with all these licensing things, TikTok, these fitness apps, you have no idea how somebody's going to use your music and what it may lead to down the road. It's, it's, it's completely amazing. And then of course, one more, one more here. Yeah. Andy Warhol, don't, don't think about making art, just get it done. Let everyone else decide if it's good or bad, whether they love it or hate it. While they're deciding, make even more art. That's pretty good. Oh, one more, one more, two more, two more, two more. Steve Martin, of course. I used to smoke marijuana, but I'll tell you something. I would only smoke it in the late evening. Oh, occasionally the early evening, but usually the late evening or the mid evening or just the early evening, mid evening, late evening. Occasionally early afternoon, early mid-afternoon, or perhaps late mid-afternoon, sometimes early, mid, late, early morning, but but never at dusk. Yeah, if you don't, if you don't want, if you want to go nowhere in life, just to do that. And then of course, I love money. I love everything about it. I got some pretty good stuff. Got me a $300 pair of socks, got a fur sink, an electric dog polisher a gasoline powered turtleneck sweater. And of course I bought some dumb stuff too. All right. Most artists don't listen. Some good advice, some bad advice. Absolutely do not listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking about. I have not had any sort of success whatsoever. Nobody's handed me awards. <laughs> I see this every now and then. Like somebody's complaining that they weren't nominated for an award or they were upset that somebody wasn't nominated for an award. I, I, is your ego that how much cocaine are you doing? It's like awards for music and film awards. What are you, what are you in grade school? 
All right. Talk to you later.